Hey, it's Tommy Hodgins. You may know me from CodePen, where I have a lot of CSS and JavaScript demos. Today, I'm going to talk to you about supercharging CSS. Have you ever been in the middle of writing a CSS style sheet and you wish that you could do something with CSS that it doesn't support? So you're going to need to use JavaScript, you're going to have to download a plugin, and now your styling is broken up partly between your CSS style sheet and the JavaScript that you have to write to accomplish the other styling tasks you need to do. I'm going to show you a different way. Today we're going to write only CSS and we're going to use a few plugins that will read the CSS we write and generate the JavaScript we need. So here in my HTML I have a number of different elements that contain li tags. So here I have a ul that contains li tags, that's these right here, and I also have an ol that contains li tags. Now let's say I wanted to write something like this in CSS. Because CSS does not include a parent selector, when I reload this, it's not going to work. We don't see a 10 pixel dotted line border on the parent of an li tag. It just, that's just not something that we can do. So instead, I'm going to go over here to NPM and we're going to look at a couple of plugins and then in a couple minutes we'll get them set up and we'll be up and running writing CSS that uses JavaScript to accomplish our styling tasks. So the first thing I'm going to look up is the caffeine compiler or parser. This will allow us to write CSS that calls JavaScript functions and gives them information. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to need a parent selector plugin. So luckily there's one that's already ready for us, JS and CSS parent selector. So I'm going to go ahead and install this and install caffeine and we'll get started. So this is only going to take a couple minutes. If you want to start a stopwatch, go ahead now. So I'm going to install JS and CSS parent selector and caffeine. While that's happening, I'm going to create a file, and this is the only JavaScript that we have to touch. I'm going to name it compile.js because that's what we're doing. And I'm going to import caffeine. I'm also going to import our parent selector as parent. Now the only thing that we truly need in this file is we need our call to caffeine. We're going to give it a plugins object. We're going to read a CSS style sheet. We're going to output a JavaScript style sheet. And we're also going to output a CSS style sheet. So we don't have any style sheet plugins to supply, so we'll leave that empty. And we do have a rule plugin. So we're going to pass in this parent plugin that we've imported here into caffeine as a rule extending plugin. We're going to read styles.css. Let's output a file called output.js and we'll also output output.css. So now all that we need to do is change this so it's an attribute selector starting with dash dash js dash and the name of our function. Now we can go ahead and compile that with node just by running the file that we just made. But it's not going to be loaded into our HTML yet. So I'm going to go ahead and replace our link to our old style sheet with output.css. And I'm also going to add this script source output.js. And there you have it. In under two minutes, we have a JavaScript powered rule being read from valid CSS. We're running a function that we've just pulled out of the internet. And here we have now extended CSS to include a parent selector. When we look at our HTML, the parent of an LI, here the UL and here the OL, have our 10 pixel dotted line border. And that happens for every tag that has an LI on this page. So there's one approach to extending CSS from within CSS without even using a custom syntax to make use of existing plugins that are already online. 
uh, so that we can extend CSS from within CSS using JavaScript, but without having to write the JavaScript ourselves. If you feel moved by something you saw in today's video, I hope that you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more CSS videos coming soon.